since this is the final long length video of this Hilti Narn event that happened over in Europe, I want to thank the Hilti team for accommodating all of us for all of our requests and putting all this effort into making this trip happen, getting all the tests set up for us and the demonstrations. It seriously was a very good experience. So I also thank you, Miss Wilson, for uh, going through the agony of having to deal with all of us on a personal level to make sure everyone's accommodated. I bet you that was a nightmare, but everyone over at Team Hilti, I th we all thank you so much. And this one's about grinders and nibblers. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I've never used a nibbler in my life, never needed to, so this was my first time actually using that type of a tool. <laughs> But even even hanging exactly. off of that yeah. little thing, you're able to you're able to manipulate it. Yeah, yeah. That's that's what I was trying to go for is be able to push it and prod so, it and it still cuts it. I use grinders. I use a bunch of other tools in my past. You know, being in construction and doing what I normally do. But a nibbler, I never used. So it was actually interesting to see how you could just swerve your way uh, and while it cuts metal. And then the second one we have is the shearer and this is basically like a pair of scissors right it's just snipping away and the cool thing about this tool if you want to stop part way, part way through going through the metal what do you do and it's a completely flush finish as well oh that's awesome that is awesome that's it. Yeah, do that one again. Yep. One more. Yeah, you wrap it, you slide, slide it up first and then wrap it round and. The different bands, you can put some polishing paste on it, you can make it like a mirror again. A lot of fun. The longer you do it, the nicer it looks. The battery, maybe the new one. It probably just needs to be taken ah, in and out. There you go. I'm equipped it for a change for yeah, I gotcha. the spindle. Pig went crazy. He was just going. Couldn't, couldn't get to switch off. So it's it's a good tool. It really is a good tool. 
And finally, I, wa I want to leave you with a nice, calm mood. Uh, uh, like an ASMR sort of exactly. situation? Exactly. So, so the idea here, stainless steel, steel, whatever you want to use, usually stainless steel for polishing. You're wrapping this round and you're just going to make it look shiny. Now, the one technology that I thought was absolutely fascinating was their grinder. In one of their grinders, they actually have a sensor in the handle that allows you the tool to turn off if you just simply let go. So what we will show you, we will actually be doing two consecutive cuts in this one inch rebar. In this one inch rebar. Yeah? So Stefan has the 36 volt tool and I have the AG60, okay? All right. So you've seen, with our new AG60, we are delivering 36 volt performance with a smaller package, 30% less weight, and on top, we've made it much safer tool with 10 spec and 3D etiquette. My name is Tony, I'm segment manager at the headquarter. And I'm Steven, I'm the product manager for abrasive discs and all these nice accessories you see behind, behind me. And today I'm supporting Tony with probably saving the best to last for you guys, the, the metal grinding, <laughs> cutting and, uh, and finishing station. And we start with our compact angle grinder, the AG4S. This one is 7 amps, it features the on off lock switch and also the six speed selector. And then secondly, we have our medium class AG5D. This is an eight amp uh, grinder, and this features the dead man switch, which you know contractors and health and safety guys really appreciate. And finally, our superstar, the AG60. So that tool clearly features how we uh, how how we take seriously health and safety, and we do our best to maximize operator safety and also boost performance thanks to neuro. Contractors tell us that they want to make the job site safer and they're always looking for new ways. And when it comes to power tool, angle grinders is actually one of the top offenders. That's why on our new AG6D, we are bringing two unique safety features that will make this tool smarter and safer. Contractors on the job site tell us that they prefer lock-on switch because they have a thinner grip which is better for comfort, it's easier to hold it, and then it's better for ergonomics and help them to be more productive. But owners and leaders prefer dead man switch because it's safer, but it creates fatigue for the operator who constantly needs to push the trigger down, and it also makes the tool circumference bigger, which is worse for ergonomics and comfort. Contractors today must choose between comfort and safety. But the time for compromise is over. With Neuron, we will show you that we are bringing angle grinders to the next level. How it works, it's very simple. I will show it to you. So, the operator simply needs to hold the tool, then activate the tool. Whenever the tool, the sensors detect that the contact between the grip and the hand is lost, for example, if the operator is falling, tripping, and drop the tool, then the tool will automatically detect it, switch off, and how fast this brake will engage. I don't know about everyone else, but I thought that was absolutely amazing, because an actual sensor in there that senses if your hand is there, that's, that's awesome. That is amazing. Is it pressure or touch? It's touch. Okay. It's a capacitive sensor. Yeah. 
that's not all we did actually. What else did we do? So what we did inside that tool, we've built, we've bring uh, gyra sensors. Those sensors, they monitor, they're constantly monitoring the movement of the tool in all three dimensions. Whenever those sensors detect an abnormal or sudden movement in any direction, the tool will automatically switch off and our fastest brake will engage it. Now, I think you do a little slower. What if you do that a little slower? If you do it slower, most likely it will not engage okay. because actually what we are replicating is a kickback. Oh. You know, and the kickback <laughs> happen yeah. rapidly yeah. and suddenly. So that's pretty much it, you guys. I got one more little video coming up of the, the concrete cutter, uh, the gas versus battery come soon. That's going to be an MCT short. But that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.